hello guys welcome to my youtube channel profit chapter so in this lecture we will get the historical data of futures and options for that i have took this example nifty of future so in the zero the api we need the instrument value to get to get the historical data so in the charts in the url you can see that this one is the instrument value of that nifty of future and this is the instrument name so from the zero the api you can see that we have this method let me check instrument so we have this method it will return all the list of market instruments but we need to extract only the future and options so we will add some code here to extract the instrument and the instrument name so you can see that in this instrument name we have this nifty nifty we have this uh, month and this is fut so using this we can get the instrument value of a particular instrument okay so we have this method like kite dot instruments so i have added this method that get futures instrument value and also get options instrument value so in this futures you can see that we have ox month and we have fut and the instrument name so first of all we will extract all the instruments of a given type so here type is the nfo and we will store it in a data like it's it will return some dictionary values so it will convert in it into a tabular data that will be easy to us to extract so i have added a condition that in this symbol fut should be present also month name also should be present in this symbol and this trading symbol that is nifty should be also present if all is present then we will save it in our instrument name and the instrument value and simply we will return it now we have this instrument name and instrument value and using this instrument value we can capture we can store all the historical data so for historical data we have this api this historical data we pass the instrument token value we pass the date end date and the start date interval and the continuous in this interval we have minute 1 minute 3 minute 5 minute various set of information we have and we can accordingly pass so you can see that i have added one kite object from there we are calling this historical api and we are passing the date here and we are storing this data and we are just returning it basically we have added two methods in first one we are passing instrument in second we are passing instrument a symbol from here instrument symbol we will extract the instrument and the instrument name and then we will use instrument to get the historical data so let me run this method and you will able to know so you can see that the instrument value is 13299458 and the instrument name is nifty 22 of future same you can check in the charts as well this is 13299458 it is same and the name is nifty 22 of future okay so let me take another example here in case of bank nifty will take bank nifty and let it run so you can see there is some error in the code let us see what is the error okay so we can't pass bank nifty here okay the spelling is wrong here 
bank nifty okay now it should run right so we have we have get the historical data of bank nifty future same we can validate here so the instrument value is 1329154 here also we have got the same value and the instrument name is bank nifty 20 of 22 future so we are able to perfectly find the historical data so thank you guys so this is the implementation of getting historical data using zerodha api yeah thank you guys